Hi, I'm Katie, your safety guide. And in today's video, we're diving into the world of masonry. Masonry isn't just one of the oldest construction methods globally. It's a craft that uses concrete blocks, clay blocks, bricks, and various other stone materials to create buildings and structures. Like any craft, it comes with its risks. Today, we're going to explore the potential hazards you might face in masonry, discuss the personal protective equipment you should wear, and go through some safe work practices to keep you safe on the job. Let's get started. When you're on the masonry job, a variety of hazards could be lurking around every corner, and it's crucial to be aware of them to keep yourself safe. You might encounter respiratory irritants like dust containing respirable crystalline silica, which is common in concrete and other stone products. Dust can also cause irritation or even damage if it gets into your eyes. Balls are another major concern, whether it's from heights or onto dangers like uncapped rebar, which can impale a person. Then there's a risk of being struck by moving vehicles and equipment or suffering hearing loss from the constant hum of power tools. We also need to watch out for falling walls or excavation sites that could collapse, the hazard of dropping heavy materials on yourself, and the musculoskeletal injuries from repetitive motions or lifting heavy objects. Other risks include cuts from sharp objects, the challenges posed by bad weather, electrical shocks from using improperly grounded tools or touching live wires, and burns from handling hot materials like wet concrete mixtures or chemicals. Understanding these risks is the first step in avoiding them, so always stay alert and follow safety guidelines. Enjoying this safety video? There's more where that came from on Got Safety Light. Sign up for free and gain access to our library of over 1,800 safety videos. If we don't have the lesson you're looking for, we'll make it at no cost. Click the link to sign up today. To minimize the risk of injuries in masonry work, it's crucial to gear up properly. Your personal protective equipment, or PPE, should be suited to the materials you're working with and the tools you're using. Think about protecting your head with a hard hat, your eyes with safety glasses or goggles, and maybe even adding a face shield for extra security. Hearing protection will help keep the loud noises from power tools at bay, while respiratory gear will protect you from inhaling harmful dust. Wearing reflective or high visibility clothing is essential to ensure you're always seen on the site. Don't overlook the importance of gloves and steel-toed boots for your hands and feet, respectively. And a fall harness is a must for any work at heights. Before starting your work, always check your equipment for any signs of wear or damage and report any issues to your supervisor right away. Remember, damaged PPE won't offer you the protection you need. There are several key actions you should take to ensure your safety and the safety of those around you. First, always dress appropriately for the weather conditions and the specific requirements of the work site. Comfort and protection should go hand in hand. It's also essential to really get to know the tools and equipment you'll be using. Make sure you read and understand the owner's or operator's manual for all power tools. And don't skip over the instruction labels and safety data sheets for any chemicals and stone products involved in your project. If something isn't clear or you have questions, your supervisor is there to help. Don't hesitate to ask. Regular inspections are a must. This includes checking all materials, tools, and equipment as per your company's policies, and also inspecting the work site itself to identify any potential hazards. Anything that doesn't pass inspection should be reported and must not be used until it's resolved. Be constantly aware of your surroundings and your footing, especially in areas that require extra caution, like restricted zones or places where heavy machinery operates. These areas should be clearly marked and only accessible to those who are authorized. For tasks like excavation, ensure that all safety protocols are strictly followed, including proper sloping, shoring, or using trench boxes. If you spot anything concerning, it's crucial to report it immediately. And remember, if an excavation doesn't look safe, do not enter it until it's been secured. For more detailed guidelines, you might refer to our specific lesson on excavations and trenching. It's imperative that any scaffolding used is assembled and inspected thoroughly following your company's guidelines, the manufacturer's instructions, and all relevant regulations. 
The same level of care should apply to capping all rebar, ensuring that every piece is properly secured to prevent accidents. Operating power tools and equipment correctly is non-negotiable. Always use them according to the manufacturer's instructions and your company's policies. In environments where dust is a concern, utilize water or dust collection systems to keep the air as clean as possible. Remember, if these methods don't sufficiently control the dust, especially respirable crystalline silica, it's crucial to wear the right respiratory protection. If you're unsure about the correct gear, your supervisor is there to guide you. Think about efficiency and safety when storing materials. Keep them close to where you're working to minimize the need for excessive lifting. Speaking of lifting, always employ proper techniques to avoid injuries. And when working at heights, make sure you're either wearing a fall harness or using other safety measures like guardrails or safety netting. Keeping your worksite clean and organized is not just about professionalism, it's about safety. And while we're talking about health, remember to stay hydrated and take all your scheduled rest and meal breaks. These breaks aren't just a good time to recharge, they're also a critical part of preventing musculoskeletal injuries. To wrap up, masonry stands as one of the oldest crafts in the world. Despite its rich history, the materials and tools involved can pose significant risks. To protect yourself and minimize the likelihood of injuries, it's crucial to always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment and adhere strictly to your company's policies and procedures. Should you have any questions about PPE, materials, tools, or any equipment, don't hesitate to reach out to your supervisor. That's all for today's lesson. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to follow us on social media. And remember, stay safe out there. Nice very safety, can you take one? 71624. Ah! You might encounter respiratory irritants like dust containing respirable crystal. <laughs> and also inspecting the worksite itself to, to identify, to identify, no eyes there is assembled and inspected through- <laughs> Oh!